Hello everyone. In this quick overview video of Auto Lead Finder, I will show you how you can find and reach out to potential leads for your business and automate this process. This app finds thousands of business leads in any niche and helps you to reach out to them by personalized email campaigns by using cutting-edge humanized AI tech. Let's get started with the login. Enter your login credentials, which you have received in your email, and click on the login button. If you have logged in for the first time, it will ask you for some basic information about your business. These basic details will be used while reaching out to leads and to make campaigns more personalized. Click on Let's Get Started. This information helps the app to understand your business and then get potential customers that are related to your business. First, it will ask you for the URL of your company or business. This step is optional, and if you don't have a website, you can also choose to skip it. I will enter my website URL here. It will search for the information about your company or business from the given URL. Once done, it will auto-fill the business details here. If you want to further edit the details that is generated by the app, you can use this Let Me Change It A Bit option. If it looks perfect, you can go ahead. The next step is to choose the targeted company size. You can select multiple options here. Then, the next step is to choose the sector or niche that you want to target. I will go with photographers and click on Done. Now, the next option is to choose the location where I want to find the leads. Let's find photographers in New York and click on Done button. Now, it will ask me to confirm the global settings of my company. These global settings are basically the details which will be used while sending emails to the leads that the app has searched for me. These details can be edited later as well while creating campaigns. Enter the name that will be used in the email while sending it out to your prospects. You can edit the organization name as well if you want. You can edit the services that you provide. Once edited, click on Done. Then click on the Finish button. And we are done with the basic setup. It will redirect you to the dashboard screen of Auto Lead Finder. If you have logged in for the first time, you will see the option to create your first campaign. Let's quickly create a new campaign. Just enter the campaign name and click on Find Lead to create a new campaign. The app will start searching for hot leads based on the information that we have provided to the chatbot while setting up the account. It will take a few seconds to find the best prospects for you. While it's doing that, let's quickly check how you can create another new campaign. Click on the Create New Campaign button at the top right. All the basic information will be pre-filled like the organization name, website, and services that you provided. You can either edit or keep it the same. You will just have to enter the campaign name. You will have two options. You can either find new leads, or you can also upload leads in CSV format list from here if you want to reach out to a particular list of leads. If you want to find leads, select the sector or niche, and choose the location like we did earlier. Once done, click on the Create Campaign button and a new campaign will be created. While it's generating the leads let's navigate to the Integrations menu to connect the mailing accounts. It is mandatory to connect at least one mailing account to start connecting with prospects and sending them emails. You can add your Outlook account and SMTP account. You will also have the option to connect your Autoresponders account so that you can directly add email lists to the Autoresponder account from Autolead Finder. You can also integrate HubSpot and Pipedrive CRM accounts on this page. You will also have the option to connect to your Zapier account with the API key available on this screen. Let's go back to the campaign section and check the photographers list in New York. You can see that it has found more than 1,000 photographers. You can view the leads by clicking this eye icon. On top of the page, you will see menus which are basically the stages of interactions with the lead. The first menu is Find Leads, where you can see the list of all the leads. Once you connect with any lead from the Find Leads menu, that particular lead will move on to the Contacted menu. And once the prospect responds to you, it will further move on to the Conversations menu. All the scheduled emails will go under the Scheduled menu. The most powerful feature of the Auto Lead Finder is automation. You can create a new sequence, where you can add multiple steps by which a lead will go through within a defined time. You just have to add any lead to a sequence and the app will automatically connect with that lead and perform the predefined actions. In case any email is not sent to the prospect due to any reason, it will appear under the bounced menu. You can blacklist any lead and that lead will appear under the blacklisted menu. 
You'll see hundreds of leads on the Find Leads page and their details like company name, email address, and category. You can send email by using this Send Email option. You can view the details of the particular lead, add it to any email list, sequence, or blacklist the lead from here. Let's check the details of the particular lead. You will get the company name, email, contact number, location, and industry. You can download the social presence report of this lead, send an email, add to the email list, and do more actions like add to sequence and add to blacklist from here as well. You can connect with lead through the social media account as well. Now, let's quickly send an email to this prospect. When you will click on the send email button, you will be redirected to the editor screen. You will have several options on this page to customize the email. The first option is to choose any email template. If you have to send the same formatted email to multiple leads, you can create a new email template from the email template menu. After creating, you can choose that email template here. The email subject and body will be updated accordingly. The next option is to enter the recipient's email address, which will be pre-filled. You can also add or remove CC from here. The email body will be pre-written for you, but if you want to update it or if you don't find it satisfactory, you can remove the email content and click on a Generate with AI button. It will take a couple of seconds, and AutoLead Finder will write a new personalized email for you. The email is generated based on the details that you have provided while creating the campaign, and used your details like company name, services, and much more for personalization. Another powerful feature is the report generation. You can click on the Attach Report button to attach an audit report of the current social presence of the prospect. Click on the Get Report button to fetch the report. You can also attach a custom file to the email from here. You can add dynamic variables to the email which helps in personalization. For example, you can add a company name variable in the email body and the actual company name of the lead will replace it. After customizing the email, you can also schedule the email for a later date or time. Or, you can send the email right now as well. You can also check the email preview on the right side of the screen. You can send a test email to yourself by clicking Send Me a Test Email button. Let's schedule this email. Select the time zone, date, and time at which the email needs to be sent. And click on Save Schedule. Scheduled successfully. AutoLead will send the email for you at the exact time. You can check the scheduled email on the scheduled page. If you want to send the email right away, hit the Send Now button. You can see the email has been sent successfully. And now you can check this email on the contacted page. You can see the leads that you have contacted in the past, the stages, the number of interactions, and also the option to send a follow-up email. You can check the conversation with any lead in detail by clicking on the View icon. You can also delete the log, add the lead to the email list, sequence, and blacklist the lead from here. Let's send a follow-up email. As seen previously, you can also select an email template for the follow-up email. You can send the follow-up email as a new thread or reply to the previous conversation. Then you can write or edit the email and you will get all the options seen previously for sending emails. In this way, you can send a follow-up email to any lead. The stage is updated to followed up and the interactions are changed to two as we have followed up on this lead. Once this lead responds to your email, it will move to the conversations tab. Let's understand the sequence automation feature. On the sequence page, you will see all your created sequences and details like the number of scheduled, delivered and replied emails. The status of the sequence can also be set to active or inactive from here. Click on the create new sequence button to create a new sequence. Enter the sequence name and choose the preferred time slot of sending emails for this sequence. Click on the Create button and the sequence is created successfully. You will be redirected to the sequence single page once the sequence is created. On this page, you will see details of sequence, like the events or steps that are performed in this sequence, contacts that are added, emails, leads responses, and leads that you have marked as interested. You can also add contacts directly in this sequence from here and also pause or resume the sequence. Let's say I want to create the first step where leads should get a cold email as soon as they are added in the sequence. So, all the contacts that I will add in this sequence will get a personalized email on automation. Click on the Add Sequence button and it will ask you to enter the event title in the first field. Let's say Event 1. Then, 
Choose the event type. Sequence events can send an email or notify you to send a custom email, do a phone call, check the LinkedIn post of the lead, send a LinkedIn message, and many more. Let's choose send email, so it will send emails to the leads. You can choose any email template that you have saved earlier or craft a new email as well. Then, you can choose the time duration to start this event or step. You can set it in minutes or hours after which this step will be initiated. It is calculated from the time since any contact is added to this sequence. I will keep it zero, so the email will be sent instantly when any contact is added. Fill email subject and body and use dynamic variables if required. Once done, hit the Create Event button to add this event. You can see that a new event is added, and you can also view other details related to the email like the number of bounced, scheduled, delivered, replied, and opened emails. Here, you can add another email to the same step for split testing. If I add another email, Auto Lead Finder will split test the emails for you, and you can make further decisions based on the split test report. Make sure to activate the sequence to start sending emails. You can activate the sequence by clicking on the checkbox at the top right corner. You can add the next events in this sequence just like we added the first one. Now, the final step is to start adding contacts in this sequence. Click on the Add Contacts button at the top to do so. You can select multiple contacts at once and click the Add to Sequence button at the top. Choose the sequence, let's choose the photo sequence that we just created and hit the Add to Sequence button. Go back to the Sequence page and then view the Steps page. You can check that three contacts are added to the sequence successfully under the Contacts section. This is how you can find prospects, access their details, send emails to them, and also automate this process using Sequence with Auto Lead Finder. Thank you for watching.